Nassam bin Javid joins us now from a Palestinian solidarity rally uh, in front of the uh, ICJ Assam. And, of course, uh, many distinguished speakers speaking both in court. Also, we had the South African Minister of Justice speaking outside of court, Ronald Lamola, after it was all over. Uh, it's been, as steps said, a historic day. Well, that's exactly what hundreds of people who've been gathering here in The Hague have been telling us, that this is a historic day. People have been coming here from all walks of life, from all parts of Europe, to show solidarity with not just what's been presented by South Africa, but also against everyone who they accuse of standing with Israel in what they see as genocide happening in Gaza. To discuss it further with us is uh, Jeremy Corbyn, a prominent politician and a former leader of the Labour Party. Thank you very much for taking the time, Jeremy. Uh, what was your impression of what we saw today in the court? I mean, it was there for the whole of the presentation this morning. It took over three hours. It was brilliantly prepared and brilliantly put forward, analytical, non-sensational and minimalist in terms of uh, images that were shown. There were one or two photographs shown on a big screen, but no great length of it, because they said, this is a serious case, we want to outline a, what's happening in Gaza, but B, where it is in breach of the Convention on Genocide and pointing out that the statements made by Benjamin Netanyahu and others are of collective punishment of the people of Gaza, in which he said after October the 7th that there are no innocent civilians in Gaza, for example. And so I think the case they've made is very strong. At the end of it, the um, last representative from South Africa made the request for an interim order to be sent out by the court, which would be demanding an end to the fighting. Now, that's not going to be made tomorrow, that's for sure, because obviously they've got to hear Israel's response and then deliberate on it. But I hope it is very soon. Because if international law is to mean anything, and a government like the government of South Africa makes that request, then there's got to be a response. But at the International Court of Justice, yes, while this is happening, Israel does enjoy the support of, by and large, major chunks of the international community, the United States, the UK government, for instance, uh, where there seems to be nothing that has moved the needle, whether it's the killing of people, whether it's the court, court cases. So do you think anything is going to change if there is a decision in favour of the South African application? Everything is incremental. Every time you step out on the street and wave a Palestinian flag and say stop the killing of Palestinian people, every time somebody, me or anyone else, speaks up in a parliament, that's an incremental difference. And the arguments about the arms trade, the supply of weapons to Israel, and the fact that President Biden sought to bypass Congress because he was afraid of the reaction there in order to send more weapons to Israel indicates a weakness in his position. And so this weekend we've got demonstrations all over the world. There's a voice of ordinary people who are just appalled what's going on. And also I want to say thank you to those people in Israel that signed in support of the South African application to the the International Court of Justice and those in Israel that have been demonstrating against the occupation of the West Bank and, and of Gaza because they want also to be able to live in peace. It's not going to happen tomorrow, that I know, but if we just walk by on the other side and ignore what's happening to the Palestinian people, then we become complicit. In 24 hours, Israel is going to present its case and uh, it is going to say that what is happening, it is expected, uh, is happening as a reaction to what Hamas did on October the 7th. Uh, it amounts to the worst crime that has happened against the Jewish people uh, since the Holocaust is what Israel's stance has been. So do you not somewhat agree with what Israel is saying and what its actions on the grounds are? Well, the South African case started off by saying how much they were appalled and regret what happened on October the 7th. We all do, absolutely. But nobody can call the killing of all these thousands of people and destruction of 70% of all the housing in Gaza a proportionate response. It is not. It is an attack on the entire Palestinian population. And when Israeli ministers announce that they want the population of Gaza to be reduced from 2 million to 200,000, where are those people going to go? Are they going to create a new Gaza in the Sinai? Because that is the direction in which we're going. Is the world going to do nothing about it but continue to supply arms to Israel or say, look, this has got to stop. The Palestinian people have got to be able to live in peace.
Jeremy Corbyn, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us. There you have it. Uh, that has been, by and large, the sentiment here, uh, as hundreds of people have been gathering outside uh, the International Court of Justice, uh, that Israel has to stop uh, what it is carrying out in Gaza. There are people from all over the world who have been gathering here and saying that they agree with what South Africa is telling the world and the International Court of Justice. And people, who Palestinians who are living here in the Netherlands have been telling us that just this fact that Israel has to defend itself in front of an international court for what they call genocide is a win in itself. Asan bin Javed, therefore, is at The Hague. Thank you.